Hello and welcome to the video for what is a struct part two. So after doing the first video, it was brought to my attention that there are some other features of struct that we should go over. So here's the video for them. I've modified our original blueprint and I have added this other one called damage using set. As you can see, when we damage, it goes down and when we damage using set, the same thing happens. But behind the scene, there's a small difference. So originally, we would take the enemy structure, break it, change the health, and then copy both values across back to the make monster struct, and then set our enemy back to normal. Well, there are a few small things you can do. When you are breaking apart a struct, if you view your details panel, there is a category dropdown. This will allow you to choose which items you want to see on your break. So for example, I have unchecked name because I don't want to change the name. Now I've gone ahead and changed the health value by negative 10 here. And then I'm using the set members in monster struct instead of the make struct. So for this one, I've done the same thing. I've gone ahead and pulled up the default category under details. I've unchecked health and I've got, sorry, unchecked name and just made health checked. So now you notice that not only is it a lot cleaner, we don't have the name hooked up. Well, when you're using set members and you do not have a variable checked, because you have to pass in the original struct, it will simply copy along those variables. So imagine if your enemy had 20, 30 different variable types and all you wanted to do was change the health. Well, this makes it nice and easy. You don't have to copy across 30 different wires. You just set it up only to modify the health. Now again, after we go in ahead and set just the health, we go ahead and we set our enemy variable back and then we update our health. That's why when we run the example, it works the same way, but in the actual blueprint itself, it's a little bit cleaner. Now, there is one issue with this. Right now, currently, set members does not work properly if you are pulling a struct out of an array. So keep that in mind. If you have an array and then you're trying to use the set members, it will not properly go back into the array. If you are trying to set the element, you will have to take this output struct, make a brand new struct using the make struct, and then you can go ahead and set the element or insert the element. So that's it. This is just a quick little update and it shows you a nice easier way to organize your structs.